make sure you hit the subscribe button before the video start. Man, before the video start, man, I had to show y'all this shit, boy. This shit just had me in tears, boy. Who the fuck is this, boy? <laughs> Nyquil Jordan. <laughs> oh man, say you found this shit at the dollar store, man. It's sorry, so it was the funniest shit I ever seen in my life, bro. <sighs> Get to the video though, man. Ah, the Jordan 11. The most iconic shoe of all time. Everybody's favorite can't go wrong with a pair. And a pair of Tim's, another iconic shoe. But we all know when these two shoes get dirty, it's time to throw these motherfuckers away. But y'all know me. We don't throw away shoes over here. If I said they can be saved, they can be saved. Let's get to it. Let's get into the stuff we need. Soap. I'm going to pause it right here and get y'all free game. Stop letting these companies fool y'all. You don't need this coconut scented oils from the moon to clean your shoes. Just regular fucking soap. Make sure it's blue. Don't let these companies send y'all off. I've been doing this for years. I'm on a year, almost 10 doing shoes. This is what I use to clean all shoes. Don't let these companies send y'all off. You're cleaning the fucking shoe, not the fucking earth. Dude. Stop letting these motherfuckers send y'all off. The different type of brushes. Your brushes is what really important. I'm, I'm gonna pause the video and give y'all free game. Yeah, they want you to buy the product and the soap, whatever cleaner they trying to, you know, give y'all, but the brushes, what's really gonna clean it. Yes, the soap has a major part in it, but the, the brush is what's really going to clean the shoe. Your different brush, you got your brass brush, your all-purpose brush, your, your bristle brush, you got your iron brushes. That's what's gonna clean your shoe. I'm gonna give y'all more info on that later in the video, but your brushes was what really what you're gonna need. In a bowl to put the soap and water in. That's literally all you need. Let's get straight to the concourse. There's really no secret to it. All it is is elbow grease, and you wanting to clean them motherfuckers. Just use your soft bristle brush only. Don't use that iron brush, only your soft bristle brushes. You use the other brushes, you're gonna damage the mesh, then it's over with. Just a soft bristle brush, a little elbow grease. You're gonna get these clean in about 15, 20 minutes, probably even less than that. It's not rocket science, it's literally that easy. I also give you another piece of game. If you feel like you need to be cleaned again, do another session. About one or two sessions, don't get them concords back in the game. When I'm doing a midsole area, I like to use the iron brush. Yes, you can use your soft bristle brush, but the iron brush is good for midsoles and soles to get all the tough dirt stains you can't get out with a soft bristle brush. It get deep inside them grooves. It's perfect for hard areas just as those. Now let them boys dry for a couple of hours. Let's get straight to these laces. The easiest part of this restoration, everybody done hand wash something before. Just put the laces in your hand, a little dab of soap, some water, and just get the hand wash. You can be soft, gentle, just make sure you get all the soap out. You don't wanna leave no soap in there. You might need to do a session or two. After letting these dry for a few hours, look how they came out, clean, sparkly white again don't worry about the soles that's for another video we just doing a basic cleaning and let's get to these tims shit if you ask me use the same damn water you was using for the concourse when you're doing tims though make sure you use the soft bristle brush the big one i'm using it's gonna cover more ground make your job easier when you're doing tims make sure you get every part of the shoe make sure you get that motherfucker bath skinny dip it just make sure you get every part of the shoe though now let them boys drop about 25, 30 minutes. But Dre, my Tim's don't look like Tim's anymore. They look all dry and rough. I want them to look back to normal. This little thing right here is very important for Tim's or any suede shoe. The four-way suede brush eraser will help you unnap your suede, get it back to normal. It even helped you get that dirt out that you couldn't get out with the cleaning. Let me show you the little magic of this boy too. You see that little smudge I had in the front? I know y'all noticed this. It's gonna help me get this little smudge out. When you hit it a few times, you're gonna even see the dirt roll up out of the suede. That's how useful it is. Now use it to bring back the whole shoe. 
This is how you unnap your shoe. This is very important to give it back that suede, that Tim look that we all love. A quick tip for me, man, get you some mink oil, man. It's optional, but mink oil, it keeps your suede alive, healthy, and even waterproofs your shoes. If you want your Tim's to last longer, this is good. And that's a wrap. All you gotta do is check if your Tim's are healthy. If it's doing this, you're all good. I just saved you $200. Now you ain't gotta buy another pair of Tim's. Thank the shoe guy. I said I got the people. I look after my people. We all done here. Now look at your Tim's. They all clean. They look fresh out the box. Man, go back to the beginning of the video. Look how they look before and look how they look now. The Tim's back in the game.